What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Shin Blade. We are here with the Steve Fox taking they guy. Now, I know you guys been hammering me down for this Steve Fox guy, but we are finally here. We are finally about to do it. The Shin Blade Steve Fox guy. Before we start, please hit that like, subscribe button, and that bell notification. Man, I would love for you guys to keep up with me. As you can see, I'm growing. I'm almost at 3K. Thank you guys. I really appreciate all the ones who are supporting me. That's why we're getting this guy. And once I hit 3K subscribers, you will get three skits from your boy Shinblade. But again, I love you guys. I appreciate it. Without further ado, here go to Steve Fox, taking that guy. Let's get into it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, before we start, a lot of people, when they start playing Steve, they don't know where to start at or, or probably move too fast. But let me tell you something. When you're playing Steve Fox, always start off with the basics. You need minimum combo. Again, it was a... Tekken player named Nen, one of my favorite players. He started off doing the the fucking basic ass combos and he won tournaments. When I say basic, I'm talking about no down four one two ones, nothing extreme, just 40 to 45 damage combos. And he won off Steve Bakes. Steve is really good at just playing straight up small Tekken. Now what small take we're gonna be we'll get into that but for right now let's go with the bases the key moves all right so we're gonna start out with his uh key moves we got his jab we got one two also got his one one two all these are notified as his 10 frames then we'll go on to his 12 frame we got two one and we got two two now major major notice to this two one is extremely buffed no steve fox Players I've talked to so far have noticed this buff. So on Tekken 7, 2 1 was almost the same distance as his uh, jab. If you notice on this one, look how effective this is. So, no, and later in your gameplay, you're gonna realize you're gonna use this a lot. Look at how far 2 1 hits. Look how far 2 1 hits. 2.5. Let's try to. Actually, let's do a test. Let's start at 2. Hits at 2. Let's start at 2.1. Hits at 2.1. Let's start at 2.3. Hits at 2.3. Steve Fox have never had this much range in his jab game. Let's, let's try 2.4. 2.4. Even hits at 2.4 range. Now, if you were a Steve Fox player, you know Steve Fox couldn't hit you from right here. Ever. The fact that who got buffed this much is a big game changer in Steve Fox's game. Let's continue. Down 4 1 is also a 13 framer. His 13 framers are down 4 1, down 4 1 2, down 4 1 2 1 to mix it up a little bit, down 4 1 2 2 to catch the opponents if they try to duck. So the, <clears throat> so the key in doing down 4 1 2 1. And down for one two two. It's to mix your opponent up if they are standing or if, or if they are trying to duck. Let's continue. One of his key lows is down two one. You can do down two on a zone, but that still defeats the purpose because this is a safe low. Down two one cancel. Now to cancel, it's down two one ducking. Now you choose either to use four or three to duck. I personally use three because that's how my hands are set up. But most Steve Fox players I train use four. So let's do it. It's down two one. Four, ducking four is in forward three or four. You press down, back, and back. Let's give it a go. You see? To know you to know you have successfully did it, you will see a counsel in Steve Fox duck. Now, if you see, if you have not successfully counseled, you can see this. You see how he went through the whole duck? Now, if you go through the whole duck, you can't get hit. Something, something to practice on. Steve counsels. If you want to be a Steve Fox player, you have to learn to counsel. Okay, also, we got down one. And my favorite, quarter circle four two. This is my favorite low with Steve Fox, even though it's very punishable. The whole cast for Punisher. As you can see, Core Circuit 4 2 is negative 18. Punishable by the whole cast of the game. It's my favorite low. It goes into Peekaboo. 
and I love peekaboo stands. Let's continue. Your other good poke is down for a two. Now on counter hit, it makes that effect, but think about this game, you have to make a quick option to go with while standing one, two, or while standing two, two. Let me show you. 44 damage. Now while standing two, two is the hardest option. It's down four, two, ducking, while standing one, two, or while standing 2-2. Two, two. Like again, everything with Steve Fox does with counsel. So you have to get used to doing counsels. Let's try the while standing 2-2 two, two option. Same damage, but it goes to Lionheart stance. Now we will get to Lion Star Lionheart stance later, but as you can see, it's a better reward because you get to mix your opponent up again with, with the while standing 2-2 two, two option. Everyone know what Steve is hated for. Go ahead and get into it. The back one. Yes, I said it. Now, if you don't cancel the back one, to cancel back one, now I got messages on this, even read it in some of the comments. They don't know how to count cancel back one. So to cancel back one, you back one, you hold back, go into flamingo stance. Flamingo stance look like the floor made with a full shell stance. You know what I'm talking about? Also, when you see me play, you see me. I always go to the stand because I love Floyd Mayweather. This is my favorite stance. So to cancel, back one, hold back. Again, all cancels down, back, and back. This is very important. This is why canceling back one is important. If you throw back one out by itself, negative 14. See the difference? So when I see new Steve Fox players come across, they're just doing back one by itself. It's negative 14. Highly punishable. That's why it's important to do back one counsel. You see, negative one, You're free to move. Another key move by Steve is back two. Back two is no longer a launcher, but you get follow up. And the follow ups equal up to the Shiver combo. You remember the Shiver combo only gave you like 55, 56, 58 damage. As you can see, back two, Sonic Fine. 52 damage. Look how much life that is. That's not bad, right? Wait, it's also more. You can also follow up back two with Pickaboo forward one plus two. It's a little advanced than just pressing Thunder Fang, which is one plus two. But with this, it's more damage and the wall sticks. 59 damage. Now, if I'm not mistaken, that is more than what the Shira combo did when we had to do all that damn work. So with that being said, this is not bad for a change of Steve Fox. But back two is still negative. No, back two is now negative 13 rather than negative 14. So you don't get punished as hard, even though the players and my opponents almost never punished me for negative 14, but only like Cody. I remember Ty. Only a handful of opponents have little mods. Only punished the neg for negative 14. But don't be afraid. Nail 13 is not a lot. The most you'll get is a 10 frame or 12 frame punch for your opponent. Let's move on. Another key move is Sunday Fang. As you see in my fights, I love to whip punch with Sunday Fang. Now, being a Steve Fox player, you have to be a good whip punching. I believe that's where he excels at is whip punching. Doing Sunday Fang, 1 plus 2. Now, heat engagement, also rocket lunch. Rocket Launcher is quarter circle four one. Very good move. Hits at far range. Hits at almost three. Very good range. Very good move. It's safe. Like I said, with your counsels. Again, let's go over it. When you're throwing a rocket launcher, it also leads into fl uh, flamingo. Flamingo stance. Rock lunch by itself is punishable. Negative 10. Again, when you playing Steve Fox, please remember to cancel. Rock and lunch, hold Flamingo, down, back, back. Every cancel from Flamingo is down, back, back. So don't make it get the don't make it get the hold of you. Don't make it confuse you. Remember when you go into two, Flamingo, down back. Let's continue.
Another key move you see Shinblade do a lot is one of my favorites, Avatar Spin 2. Another key move you see Shinblade use a lot, Avatar Spin 2, baby. Yes, sir, one of the best moves to close out your neutral and hit from this far. That is such a blessing to have a move. And I just got to train one of my students not too long ago. They don't use it, but if he started to use it, he started to be more successful in his matches and started to win a couple of rounds. So to do Avatar Span 2 is 3 plus 4, 2. You can also do Avatar Span down 2 to mix up your opponent. You can also do Avatar Span Double Spin. The Double Spin is done with Avatar Span, which is 3 plus 4. Press down. You can also go up with it. Avatar Span 3 plus 4, 3 plus 4, up. And you can mix them up. Once you go up, the attack is no longer 2. So once you go up or down, the attack moves to 1. As you can see, Avatar Span 2, Avatar Span down 2. And when you do the double, your attack comes becomes one. Avatar spin double, down one. Avatar spin double, one. So you see the difference? The double Avatar spin one is not a heat engager, but this is a very good tool against the wall. As you can see when you guys see me play, when I get my opponent on the wall, especially on a wake up. When they wake up, I do double spin. Avatar spin, double spin. One, wall stick, safe. Also, if they get too smart and they want to block a lot mid, hit them with the low. Get a free follow up with either a down back two, down one plus two, or you go for Oki. Knock them down, Sonic Fang. Or any choice you want. Close looking for a two. Just be safe about it. Go on to the next one. Another key move for Steve Fox. Now, these are a lot of key moves now. This means that this character is very viable. So, no complaints out of you. We got a safe low. We got safe mids. Another key move is another safe move. I call this the power dunk. Running two. Also a heat engagement. Now, this is what I abuse a lot at Tekken 8 with Steve Fox. This is a real big buff. They also made running two very easy to do. I believe you can still do your instant running twos, but now, since they have the running effect in Tekken 8, which is this right here, you see that? That was never in Tekken. But with that, you be up close and do your running moves. You see that? So if you're a beginner, as of myself, I struggle doing my running moves all the way from Tekken 5 to Tekken 7, believe it or not. To do that right there was extremely hard to do to me. For me. You see, I messed up. You see that? No longer needed. It does help over time to pick up your route running moves though. You don't want to always rely on this. It gives your opponent time to attack. So, but starting off, you could use it. Once the okay, you got a choice to even to either do another one, my style, do another power dunk. My favorite, the stomp. Easy to Lionheart. Again, we are going against Lionheart mix-ups in the field. Or you want to keep it simple. Down for one. Down for one, two series after that. For your low options, down for two, one cancel. Like safe low option. Or again, my personal favorite, close looking forward to, to pick a boot mix-up. Now of course, if you don't want to do neither of those, I took the heat engager, down for one. And this applies for all heat engagers. Avatar spin two, same option. Rocket launcher, same options. And again, power dunk, same options. All of those options apply. And don't forget, even after the heat engager, you can always go for a grab. Let's carry on. All right, now with this next one, as I said at the beginning of the video, you don't need a lot of combo in with Steve Fox to win. You 
need these like these four to five moves to win. Let's go. You can start with this down four one, down four one two series, down two down two one, down down two one council, down one series. And again, distance will punish because you can annoy your opponent a lot. You gotta see in my magic. Sometimes I'm just straight up boxing. I'm not doing any combos. After you're doing enough down for one, down for two ones, down two ones, and also add down for twos in there. One, two, one. One, two, one is a very key move. Again, on counter hit, one, two, one, all three hits connect. So once you annoy your opponent with this much pressure, this much offense, they are going to be forced to attack. You guys always see it. So once they attack, you got to be ready for the Sun Fang. Sunfang hits on range three. And pretty much, like I said, with the heat engagers, it goes into the mix up game, the power dump, close circuit forward two, rocket launcher, grab. You got your choice. Everything leads to. Again. I helped a lot of people out with this. The thing that Steve Fox spells get construed with is try to do too much. They're, they're trying to do too many launchers, too many back ones, and too many um, moves to not really open up your offense game and give your opponent a clear vision of what you're trying to do. Because I played a couple of Steve Fox spells already, I can see their their mission. So to keep it confusing for your opponent, I'm telling you. Down two one, very key move. Down ones, down four ones, down four one twos, one twos, one two ones. That alone and spacing opens up your opponent regardless on how much defense they got. I be in the best of the best with just this strategy alone. Close circuit four twos. Again, like to open up your offense, just don't think too much. Those key moves right there I just showed you is enough to open up your opponent. And also, do not forget to add your Avatar Spin 2s in that mix. And Rocket Launcher. Both safe options. Don't forget. Let's carry on. Okay, so now we have the Pickaboo Stands. Pickaboo Stands is really good. It can really break down your opponent really fast. <laughs> Even high level opponents. You gotta see me do it. Go and move to Pickaboo. You got one. You got one, two. You got one, two, one. You got down one. You got down four, one. You got down four, one, one. You got down four, one, one, two, one. You also got back one. That's one of my favorites in the uh, Pickaboo. Back one, one. You gotta see me do that. Uh, you gotta see me do that a lot in Pickaboo. And the full string is back one, one, two, one. You also got a swaying option in Pickaboo. Back two. Now, most Steve Fox don't use it, but I'm telling you, sometimes it works. You gotta know how to use it. You gotta like whiff this, like whiff a down up, whiff a pick boo down one from distance, and then just throw it out and try to punish it. Like I said, not a highly used move in pick boo, but hey, it's out there. Now, your launcher's in pick boo stance. You got your down for a two, which is your 16 frame launcher. You got your Shaw Rukin, which is my favorite, 17 frame. Takes you out of pickaboo stance so you can freestyle with your own combo. I also got counter hit down too. Slow move hits on advancing opponents. I don't recommend using the move in neutral because it's an easy move to spot out. But I like to I like to use this move on aggressive opponents. Because it because it covers distance. You can hit it from here. You see that? Hitting on close will always work. Hitting it from aggressive opponents that's coming in from this distance works. By standing one. Freestyle your combo. Also, you got forward two. Sometimes the long, most characters, most characters on the game cannot punish that. 
You got four two one with raw stick potential. You also have a peekaboo grab, which is one plus two. You also have a counter hit high tracking move in peekaboo. Very good to use, even in like close combat neutral. Most defaults don't use it. Uh, Lil Mars think it's a very good move. He wants me to use it more. When I do try, it actually works, but I don't remember to always use it because I think it's kind of it's complicated. But it's a very good move to just sit there and use it in neutral. It's quick. It's safe. It's high. It's counter hit launcher. It's also a built-in counter. Knocks him down. Free back two attempt. Knocks him down. Free back two attempt. Sonic Crown. Okay, now that we covered the basics, peekaboo stats, and how to control yourself in neutral, let's go let's go over a couple of combos. Okay, so in this video, I'm only gonna show you like at least two to three combo routes, because this is just a guide. You will advance on your own with your combos, and you will notice what you could mix in and mix out with your combos later in the game, as of what I did. But so far, I'm gonna start you all very basic. Later down in strategy guys, I will show you more advanced combos. Back one, duck at one, down put one, two, one, back two, run up, run and fang, four, two, one, run and fang again. Now again, that's an easy combo route. Now I'm gonna show you an intermediate. Now with this combo, I'm gonna end it with the four two two string, which is very recommended by me. Back one, does the one, down four one two one, back two, dash up, and the fine four two two one plus two. Seventy damage, better damage than the last combo. I think one or two more points. Now we got the more advanced combo. Got back one, ducking one, down for one two one, back two, dash up, funny thing, four two one, cancel, and change on blow. Seventy five damage. That's the more advanced combo, and to do the machine gun blow, you have to for a two one going to flamingo. Hold back, which leads you into flamingo, and then ducking and mash one plus two. Now it's very easy in this game to do. As you can see, for a two one or flamingo dash mash one plus two. Now that I demonstrated those mid level combos going to the next one now with this it's gonna be similar but instead of a counter hit we're gonna land a regular launcher let's go with orbital orbital is up four two after up four two you're gonna hit ducky one and then you're gonna go to your down four one two one series then you're gonna do flicker one two Flicker 1 2 is done after down 4 1 2 1, hold flicker, and then press 1 2. There you go, then after that, you're going to dash up and you're going to hit your Sonic Bang, which is 1 plus 2. And after that, you can choose. One of the three options I already showed you. So all three of those wall combos work. But I'm going to add a fourth option on this one too. Very easy, very simple to do. There's 311 Sonic Fang. 85 damage. Very good Steve Boss combo. Let's go over it again. Also, everybody, another move that leads into a heat engage is up back to one of Steve's new moves. 
Oh, back to one leads to his new mid counter hit. That's a safe. You can also lead that starter into the combo we just did. Let me demonstrate. One damage. Also, pick a boot too. Remember that the counter hit launcher leads the same thing. So now you gotta see where I'm going with this. All three combos lead to the same link. You know what I mean? So with that being said, about to lead it to Steve's my favorite, Lionheart. So with Lionheart, Steve have a lot of transitions into Lionheart. He has up back two to Lionheart, back one two, Lionheart. He also has the stomp, which do, does not knock down. Very key moment for me. I've been playing Tekken since Tekken 5. Stomp has always knocked down. Now, leaves him standing into Lionheart. Lionheart is a very good tool for me. I like it. You know why I like it? Because it's the heat engage. Again, we went over this. The options into the heat engage with Steve Fox is very good. I always knew that it would be this good because he is really good up close. Rocket launcher or Stomp. I kill you, or you gonna kill me. That's how I play. I like to play gamble. I like to gamble. Either I'm gonna kill you, or you gonna kill me. So again, at the back one two, Lionheart, Stomp, Lionheart. Now the opposite Lionheart, you got one, which is the mid 14 frame starter. You have two, which they launch 16 frame starter. Now that's one of my favorite options in Lionheart. We also got one plus two. When the frame starter, it guard breaks. I'm show you the options and guard breaks. So in Lionheart stance, the opponent is most likely gonna be sitting there if they're not matching. If they're sitting there, it's in your favor. I'm gonna show you why. You got Lionheart one plus two, which is a guard break. And you get a couple of options after the guard break. I'm gonna show you. You get one one two to transition. Very good option. After the one one two, you can transition to a mix up. Either a full cross one. Or while standing one, choose the option. You got two one, right into Pickaboo, my favorite, one of my favorites. Also, you got two two, which is 20 damage, the most damaging one. But no transition, most likely your opponent turn, but you get 20 damage after the guard break. One of the things I'm seeing that Steve players are doing after Lionheart 2, they're not doing a very good combo, but let me show you something. You can keep the combo very simple and still do effective damage. Let me show you. Line hot two, duck in one. That's the first step. Duck in one, now for one, two, one. Second step. Third step. Four, two, one. Flicker. Fourth step. Flicker one. Flicker one. After the flicker one, hold back to stay in in flicker. Again, after flicker one, hold back, stay in flicker. After you connect the flicker one, do an avatar spam. Three plus four, two. Let me show you. Now, that's very good damage, right? 60 plus damage, way back move, you know what I mean? The longer you would play, you would figure out how to implement more damage and combo. You would lie hard too. Also, one of the new changes of Steve Fox is Sway Back. 
Way back is either either uh three or four. Back. One. Way back one leads your opponent crouch so you're a plus fourteen, which leads to a free sun and thing. To the heating game. Very cool option. Now that we went over the lion heart and that new change, let's go on to the next one. Now, let's go over the heat mechanics with Steve Fox. So to activate heat, press the heat button. Press it by itself, he hits the opponent. If you activate the heat and press back back twice, you cancel. Now in heat, you got options. Rocket launcher hold forward, combo route. Avatar spin two, hold forward, combo route. Power dunk, hold forward, combo route. Very good changes in Steve Fox. Another one, one of my favorites, the Will Punishment. Now you don't get a combo after this, but you get a free hit on the ground. That's not bad. Now in Heat, he get access to Clinch. Now, you got two options. Extended Duck, which is forward, hold Duck, and press one plus two. You got one, leads to a free back one, two. You also got the one option to pick a boo for one plus two, which is the hard option. I recommend you to only do the back one, two for now until you feel comfortable enough to do the pick a boo for one plus two option. And the other option you got, which is my favorite option because it's automatically 50 damage and the opponent does not hardly break it option two punch series to 50 damage can't beat that also you get access to skip ducking i call it skip ducking so you know duck you gotta hold it down three plus four you're automatically in the last stage of your ducking with that being said you know how you hold duck and press one blue sparkle hold duck and press four two now if you do down four three plus four go straight into these options. You see that? Straight into clinch. You also get Sunny Fane after the one option. Also, I'm going to give you guys a, a nugget. I was going to say this for my personal use. But since you guys have been supporting me, watching my videos, liking and subscribe, I'm, I'm going to show you this. And don't show nobody this. I mean, if you're watching it, this is for you. So you in pick a boo. It's 4 2, right? This is the advance, y'all. After your 4 2, you cancel it. With 4 3 plus 4. After your cancel, you will hit Sonic Fang. Hold forward. Combo routes. This is our little secret, my Steve Fox players. Again. Cancel. Combo route. It's gonna be my. That's gonna be my baby later. You guys gonna see me hit that in the bits. Please keep watching your boy Shimblade. And also in heat, I recommend you do this either early or late. But in heat, you get access to what's equivalent to Rage Drive and Taken Seven. You hit the heat button again while in heat. Activate your heat smash. It the goes into it. It also crushes their option into activate their heat smash. So if you hit your opponent with the activation, it's best to go instantly into it because if they try to activate their heat smash, you will crush it. Only thing you have to look out for is the rage art. They will actually beat you. Now that we went over the options with the heat, move on to the next one. Now we are at the wall. This is where Steve is the best character in the game, no hands down. Now he's really the best character in the game. You know why I call this the Vortex. So now you're on the wall, you have Rocket Launch. Wall stick. I'll show you the wall combo. Like I said, we'll keep it simple. After the Rocket Launcher. 2-2. Two, two. Sonic Fine. We'll keep it simple. A little advanced. After the Rocket Launcher. 3-1-1. Sonic Fine. 
after you, after you condition your opponent to plant the rocket launchers in his stomach, you're gonna move it to the stump phase. This is why I love the most, baby. So, so after you enter the stump phase and have your opponent afraid to uh, stand up, you enter the vortex. It's called the Steve Foss Vortex. Back to back. Two, two, repeat. Repeat. If they get smart, you put it right back into the rocket launch. Like I said, this is the be killed or kill option. You can't be safe with down four ones, down two ones, but I recommend you kill your opponent as fast as possible. This is Tekken 8. Now, we're done with the wall situation. On to the next one. Now that we're at the end of the guide, I'm gonna show you what you need to remember in neutral. Like I said, this is very important. I wanna go over this a lot with you guys. Down two one, down four one, down four one, one two. Back ones, will punishment, Sonic fangs. Four four twos, very key move. Four four two is kinda, it's punishable. I left it out for a reason, cause it's very easy to hit Sonic Fang, but for four four two, some characters can launch you for going for risking it. Again, some characters can launch you for a risk in a 442, but if you really get good at uh, whiff punch with Steve, I recommend 442, down back two, free hit. Or for the same for option, after 442, down one plus two. Yo, that concludes my first Steve Fox guide. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys learned from it. And again, you can book sessions with me on my Metapod coaching. If you want further explanation on how to get down and how to perfect Steve, Always hit me up. And again, I appreciate you guys, man. Hit that like and subscribe button. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed it. I hope I helped some of you guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.